All right, guys. So I uh, I'm here at my campsite. The weather is beautiful. It's something somewhere around 20 degrees centigrade, and the spot is just amazing. I got my gear sitting down here, and yes, even though it's 20 degrees, I'm still wearing my uh, fur hat because that's what I'm always gonna gonna be wearing. Or if not wearing, it's at least gonna be with me on my uh, my little journeys here. There's some uh, some animal shit. I'm not sure which animal it looks like deer. I'm not sure if it can can it be like moose shit. I'm not sure. Probably deer. But yeah, um, just look at the view. It's amazing. I'm on this small uh, sort of hill, and uh, there's this cool ledge down here that's like almost vertical and goes down something like at least 30 feet. Not so good at measuring. Could be 15 meters or 40, 40 feet. Something like that. But yeah. Also spotted this uh, this cool rock down here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go investigate if I can get myself there. But as you can see, the angle here it's not very well represented on the uh, the video, but it's very steep. And I wouldn't wanna fall down there all on my own. Nobody nobody would, you know, come around to rescue me, but yeah. It's cool. Just look at the clouds as well. They're just, they're just crazy. And the summer has pretty much come. It's so warm right now. I only got my t-shirt on. This is pretty sketchy. So as you can see, I'm right on the edge here. And uh, it's very steep, like really steep down here. And if I were to make a... Uh, if I were to, you know, take a wrong step, I would end up down there. It's not, it doesn't look like it's a ton of pillows that's going to take me. It's the hard ground and yeah, that wouldn't, wouldn't feel too great. But look at that rock. I just want to get to that one. I want to see what's going on with it. Looks like it has kind of split off from the, uh, the hill itself. So I'm at the rock right now and I mean above it, it's like something like 10 feet below me but yeah it has clearly you know just cut off from the uh the main rock here and it's almost fallen over but yeah it's a steep cliff like damn i'm not sure if i'm actually standing on top of air right now but i don't think so i could be like, there's a bit of stone <laughs> nothing below me but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go check this place out and all those rocks and stuff from there. So yeah, I'll try and make my way down there from somewhere around there, I think. So uh, I was just right up there came from there and uh, yeah here's the rock I was talking about hang on you can see it a bit better from here right there it's kind of cool it has split off from the uh, the cliff itself and let's actually make our way a bit closer there's some, some holes on the ground so I gotta be careful with those and uh, yeah it's cool there's some flies chilling around here. And it's just completely cut off from, from the main cliff. Let's see what I mean there. I don't think I'm gonna go and walk up there, but yeah. Not too many people have been around here. I can, I can tell you that for sure. There's even some vegetation growing on it. I'm not 
sure if I realized that before, but yeah. Oh, <clears throat> yeah. It's kind of sketchy chilling beneath it. It's, I mean, it's 100% fatality for me if, I, uh, if it comes crashing down on me, but yeah, it's cool. Some of the rocks that got split apart when it fell. Looks like it has some iron in it. Basic rocks, nothing too special. Kind of cool. Cool pieces. Yeah, that's steep. Wonder how long it has been since the, uh, the rock just came off. Probably during the ice age. That's when a lot of the, uh, the nature, you know, changed its form thanks to the ice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Just chilling down here and, oh shit, it's falling down, falling over. And this is the, uh, the steepest part, so it's, it is very steep. You can't really expect it on the, uh, the video as well as you can from down here, but it is cool. It continues down there. It's kind of a cool, cool hillside or cliff. Let's go through the forest here. Yeah. You can definitely see that. I'm not sure if it's something like the, uh, The, uh, the temperature fluctuation in the rock that could have been caused by the sun just shining on it for thousands of years. But you can definitely see that there are just parts, you know, coming off from the, uh, the cliff, which is cool. And there's like trees growing on the very edge and stuff. That's amazing. But yeah, I'm always intrigued by these sort of little tricks of nature, whatever you want to call these. But yeah. Guess I'm going to head back up and, you know, go set up a camp. Start eating at some point, which always takes me forever. But yeah. So, uh, some of you guys might have wondered why I haven't uploaded in a while. And um, the simple reason is that I haven't really had that much time. I was in the military for about a month. Now I'm on a vacation and I've had, you know, a couple of things to do, but finally got some time. I came here, it's great. I'm, and I'm probably not gonna upload another video in a month again but we'll see could be that i'm gonna upload a video in the next week or so but i'll have to uh check it out how it fits my schedule but yeah oh yeah and uh i think i just reached 20 subscribers like a few days ago so that's also nice and uh yeah that doesn't sound like much but you know, for me, it's it's pretty nice that you guys, you know, see my channel as worthy of your subscription. Very politically said, but yeah. Um, and for all the other folks that are watching my videos, etc., if you guys like it and would like to see more of my content, which I'm gonna be making anyways, but it would help out if you guys subscribed gave a like for my, you know, it's my video for my struggles here in the nature. No, it's great. But yeah, it'd be cool if you guys subscribed and liked and left a comment. I mean, leave a comment about anything. I don't really care. And, you know, if you guys want me to, you know, visit some places, like visiting this place again, We'll see how, you know, how this whole thing goes. But 
if it's a nice place i might visit it again and if you guys have any suggestions for me any kind of terrain that you'd like for me to go to i could actually uh go on my kayak and go and spend a night over in a uh on an island i could do that i haven't really done that before so that'd be kind of cool and yeah i got i got a couple of a couple of ideas but if you guys have anything you know you'd want me to you want me see doing or going to just leave a leave a comment that's the best way to you know get in touch with me and yeah you can also check out my instagram and leave a comment there if you don't want to do it on Insta i mean youtube that's fine as well. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go and set up my camp somewhere down there. Let's actually check the place out. I think it's pretty, pretty cool. If I can actually set it up there, it's kinda, it's kinda, you know, not a very spacious place. If you can say it like that. Can't find the word right now. It's kinda crammed here. But I would set it down here. I'm, I just got to move a bit of the uh, the ground and twigs and all that away. But I think I'll be able to set it down here. And the view would be just amazing. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot. Some of you guys might have seen my, uh, my new tool that I'm carrying on my belt. It's actually a uh, sort of compact chainsaw. So it's a, you know, handheld, hand-powered chainsaw. And it's actually very good for, you know, how much it was. And, you know, it's just a handheld chainsaw with a couple of less, you know, of these pieces that actually bite into the wood. But yeah, it's actually very good. And it's very compact. I can hold it in this very little pouch, like, couple of inches of diameter it's not very it's not very big it doesn't weigh anything so yeah i'm going to show you guys how it works and i won't be using it too much today because i'm not going to make like a huge fire because it is dry like i said so um i'm just gonna show you guys how it works and yeah all right guys so i got this uh this dead old tree down here and i'm just gonna you know, saw it down with my handheld chainsaw. And I mean, it's gonna drop down to the ravine down there or down the cliff, whatever. But anyways, it's not, it's not a living tree. It doesn't seem like there's too much life on it. So I don't feel like it's uh, too big of a problem just cutting it down. But yeah, let me, uh, let me just show you guys how, how this, uh, this thing works. So you just wrap it around the tree. You basically use your kind of whole upper body to saw it down and your hands, of course. But yeah, it's fairly simple. Definitely is hard work, but you know, sawing down a big tree like this with your own hands, I think it's kind of supposed to be sort of hard work, but you know, this thing is, you know, butting into it pretty, pretty fast and yeah, I'm not sure. I think this is actually better than a normal handheld saw. It's kind of rough on your hands. But it definitely is a uh, an effective tool, especially in survival survival situation like this. So yeah, I'm just gonna go keep going, and it's gonna fall down in any second. Just gonna change the uh, the camera view so you can actually see you know see the thing falling down there. Holy shit! It's going down. <laughs> I 
All right. So, pretty clean cut. The uh, the saw itself didn't break, which is good. It is, yeah, it is very hot. It's literally, you can't almost touch it because it's, you know, it's getting kind of hot when you saw it. I mean, saw with it, but yeah, like you guys can see, the tree itself did pretty good, you know, clean and good job. And it fell down there and you can just see the tip of it. And that is a tall tree. We're talking at least 30 feet. So it did, did fall down pretty far. Can't really get a good glimpse on it, but yeah, like you saw that tree I think I filmed that tree when I was down there. This uh, this barge here. I think you saw that, and that's all the way down from there. It's a very very steep hill. Pretty much the uh, the steepest part. But yeah, that was nice. It was fun actually. But yeah, now I'm gonna actually start building the uh, the camp place you know, campsite down there, so, yeah. So what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm just gonna open up my tent on this uh, sort of flat ground here, which I'm definitely gonna make it, you know, fit. It's gonna fit here. And then I'm gonna move it as a whole package down to the place I, you know, saw earlier. And I'm gonna, you know, try and make it fit there. And I'm just gonna clear the ground off from there and set up the camp. If if it doesn't fit, well then this is one possible place I'm gonna, you know, come and set my camp. But that place there is definitely gonna be the one I'm trying to get my tent on. So yeah. Off to building a tent. So I got the, uh, the tent built up and now I'm just going to go to the place I was looking at and I'll see if I can, you know, set it up there. So yeah, it does fit here. It's just, I got a clear these little hills down here and that little, uh, you know, bump down there and fill in with some ground down there. But yeah, otherwise, I think I'm gonna be able to fit it here. Fairly good, actually. It's gonna go down there, just like that. And I'll have a straight view down there. All right, guys, so now, I have a camp set up here, my tent. I clear it the ground. The fur hat, of course, making it very royal looking up there. And yeah, I cleared the, uh, the excess ground, kind of filled this hole with it and got rid of it from back there so that the tent is here in a fairly level state. So it doesn't, you know, it's not downhill over here. I don't have to sleep you know, down the hill. Yeah, anyways. Um, so yeah, I also cleared the floor pretty well. There are still some bumps here. That's just air and some branches pushing it up. But I get like a bump here, but it's not, it's not bad. Just, I can actually use this bump as my pillow, sort of. And there's a nice little, you know, kind of duck, duck up down here. So, I can actually get in a fairly nice position 
when I'm sleeping, but just look at this view. My dudes, look at this view. There's not too many places where you can, I mean, there are, but not too many for me where I can just see straight from the tents doors out into the, uh, the beautiful hillsides and the forest. It's great out here. I'm actually very happy with this place. I'm definitely going to come come back here even if you guys don't want me to, but at some some point in time. But yeah, I got some bugs flying in here already, which is annoying. So I'm just going to close the door, get rid of this little guy here. Not sure if you guys can see. Yeah. Get out. Get out. But yeah. Now I'm just going to go and set up the campfire and start eating. Alright guys, so I've uh, I've put out the fire and it's a beautiful summer evening right now. Just look at it. The sun is still fairly high and the landscape is just awesome. I think I'm going to go and start setting up my uh, sleeping equipment out, out in the, uh, the tent. And yeah, I'm just going to chill out and relax. This is actually in a way the best trip I've had so far. A camping trip, especially, that I've filmed. But yeah, I like it. Even though there's a lot of bugs and all that, but summer is definitely a great time. If not the best time of the year to, you know, go camping. And it is, it is beautiful, especially at the beginning of the summer, which we have going on right now. But yeah, that's about it. All right guys, so I've got the uh, the tent set up here and I'm not sure if I'm actually even gonna be using my uh, sleeping bag because it's gonna be a fairly warm you know, evening. So I might just wear my fleece 
you know, coat and yeah, be fine with that. Just look at the, uh, the early sunset going on out there. It's kind of blurry because I've got the other uh, netting zipped up. So, yeah. All right, guys. So we have the perfect sunset going on down here. Just look at it. It's beautiful. A couple of clouds and a very bright orange sun just going over the horizon. Amazing. Yeah, uh, I'm soon gonna start start to uh, hit the bed and I've set, you know, set up my uh, tent pretty well. There's not too many flies flying around anymore. Cause, you know, it's getting kind of, it's getting fairly cold, so They've uh, decided to go hide somewhere. But yeah. So I'm gonna go to sleep. And. Yeah. Continue filming tomorrow. Good morning. I just woke up and like you can see, it's a beautiful weather outside. And it was actually a very beautiful uh, sunrise in the morning. I woke up at like four, I think it was 4 a.m. when I took the video of the sunrise, but it was actually very nice. It was actually glaring in my eye and that's how I woke up. But yeah, now I'm just gonna eat some breakfast and start heading back home. I've got some bugs chilling here with me. Hell yeah, of course, that's very nice. Almost like that, but yeah. Anyways, 